Welcome back to another episode of The Compare. Today we're going to be comparing Webflow versus traditional software development. If you're not familiar with what Webflow is, it's a no-code platform for developing dynamic websites and applications. It is a modern WordPress alternative that comes bundled with features ordinarily achieved by expensive plugins from WordPress such as memberships, content management, logic workflows, e-commerce, hosting, automated SEO, and more. I know what you may be thinking, there's Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, and platforms like that, but what Webflow offers is full customization of the website from a high-level interface. Other popular alternatives such as Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, and more sought to simplify the complexities of WordPress, and they ended up suppressing many user customizations that would avoid a generic or templated look. Now, there is also programmatic web development. Imagine everything Webflow can do, plus a lot more. When you start developing, you'll see a blank page, but a world of opportunity comes with that page. No one gives you the entire toolset, so you get to choose. You can select the framework you want to build with, your hosting provider, your content management system, your backend, and more. You can create web products that bring actual value to your customers by doing things no one has ever done. And you may say, that's amazing, it almost sounds too good to be true. Well, it is. First, we gotta look at the, the learning curve. It depends on where you are in your learning experience, really, when constructing a website. Before using Webflow to develop your professional websites, you may encounter concepts you weren't aware of. Webflow abstracts many intricacies of the web behind a graphical interface, making it very easy to learn. If you are still stuck, Webflow has a fantastic video tutorial and blog paced university. Coding does not have share this pretty interface, and you are instead thrown into a world of possibilities and customizations that go far beyond Webflow's offerings. You have a vibrant community at your disposal willing to assist you in making the best website possible. The big downside with this learning curve is that you can learn how to make a website within three, make, three weeks. But to make a good website, expect to spend at least six months learning web development. What you'll notice is that one line, you can accomplish more in less time. And that one is, of course, the Webflow line. You're able to accomplish a lot more. You have, you're able to gain a lot more experience within that amount of time because of the, lear the learning curve is a lot smaller. With the software development line, you can see that you don't accomplish as much uh, starting out because you still have to learn the basics. But as you grow, you start to uh, go closer and closer to the experience level you get with Webflow, eventually intersecting. This intersection point is the point where you are at the same skill level, or you can achieve the same amount. I'm, of course, I'm aware everyone learns at their own pace, but that's why this estimate is based on my personal experience and not the experience of other developers. Now, you may ask what the costs are. A lot of the cost is, of course, time versus money. So let's draw out a, a time versus money kind of situation here. Okay, so this is just a basic time versus money kind of uh, seesaw. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna kind of rotate it uh, in the direction it kind of goes. So with Webflow, you actually save quite a lot of time because since it's a no code platform, you don't have to learn about coding. With Webflow, you, you basically have to pay because they don't allow you to use your own custom domain. You only have 50 CMS content, content items and you're restricted to one page. With this software development seesaw, you essentially save lots of money because you don't have to pay much upfront at all. In fact, my own website is hosted completely for free. I'll get more into that in a second. On top of that, the cost you pay with Webflow is that you're trapped into their ecosystem. You don't get to choose, um, like I mentioned, with the software development side. For me, my website is hosted for free on Vercel and CMS is powered for free on Contentful. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, that's also an episode on the compared. It's developed for free by me and it's analyzed for free by Google Analytics. There are limits, of course, but they are way above whatever many developers would need to use for smaller websites. In conclusion, Webflow is a fantastic tool if you have cash and you don't have the time to learn and spend on building a custom-coded website. Also, you might have more of a basic taste, but you want great functionality upfront and you're willing to pay the price for that. Many professional web development teams also opt in for Webflow if it costs more to pay traditional developers than it does the startup fee. If you're like me on the other hand who has time and experience developing traditional websites slash applications, Webflow may be an option you want to avoid. You're losing out on a completely integrated system, but at the same time, you're achieving very various customizations you would get with that system. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.